Whether it's to defeat image pirates Yarr. or just because you like seeing your name in lights, watermarking can be an important part of your digital workflow. Stick around to see how to do it effortlessly here in Lightroom. Greetings, gang, and welcome to Pro Photo Tips. My name is Josh Cripps, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily watermark all of your images effortlessly and automatically here in Lightroom. Now, one of the problems that comes with watermarking is it can be a bit of a hassle. When I first started watermarking my images in Photoshop, I had to decide which images were going to be watermarked, which ones weren't. I had to turn the watermark on and off. I had to decide where it was going to be placed, and I had to manually resize it for each image and adjust the opacity each time. It was just a big hassle until I figured out how you can do it easily and automatically here in Lightroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it as part of the exporting process. So after you've edited your image to completion till you're really stoked at the way it looks and you want to export it as a JPEG to throw up on the web or Instagram or Facebook or your website or something like that, that's where we're going to go ahead and toss the watermark in there. So to get to that dialog, you need to go to the export dialog, which you can get to by hitting control shift E or command shift E on a Mac. And that'll bring up this dialog box here, which gives you all of these export options. And we're not going to go through all of these in this video. Instead, we're going to scroll down here to where it says watermarking. Now, what's beautiful about this is it allows you to choose with a single tick mark whether you want to watermark an image or not. So say you want to throw an image up on your website and you want to have a watermark on there, go ahead and check that. But if you're entering an image into a contest and there shouldn't be any watermarks, you should uncheck that. Now, me personally, I don't watermark specifically to try to prevent image theft. Rather, I do it so that if my images get shared around the web, people are more likely to see my name and know who took the photo. Now the default here is a simple copyright watermark and we've got a bunch of options and I'll show you what those look like. So if you come down here and you select edit watermarks, it brings up this dialog box. Now the basic Lightroom copyright watermark is just a simple text box and you can type anything you want into this text box and Lightroom will just Put it right there on the image. And then you have all of these text options over here. You can decide which font you want, whether you want it to be centered within that text box, if you want to change the text color. Uh, it's got a drop shadow behind there. There's options to play with the drop shadow. And then you've even got effects like you can make the watermark semi-invisible if you don't want it to be as obtrusive of this. And, and this part down here, this is all cool stuff as well. For example, this proportional thing, this allows you to tell Lightroom to make the the watermark a specific size proportional to the image. And what's great about that is it means Lightroom will automatically size your watermark to the image, whether it's horizontal, vertical, a small size, a large size, an in-between size. So Lightroom is doing all the heavy lifting for you here. And there's a couple of other options, but unless you want a really massive watermark, I don't recommend using fit or fill. In fact, I think I just broke the program by clicking on fill. Okay, there we go. You can also decide how much you want to move the watermark around from where it's set by default. So you can play with these values right here. And down here is where you can tell Lightroom where you want that watermark to be placed within the image. Now, this is all well and good, but what if you want something a little more elaborate than simple text? Well, this is where this top section here, please choose a PNG or a JPEG image comes in. You can design your very own watermark, save it as a PNG, save it as a JPEG, and then load it right here. Now for me, for my watermark, it's simply my signature followed by my website. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is my watermark and I designed it here in Photoshop. And when I save this, I basically turn off this background layer so that I that's just used so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Then I turn that off and I save this as a PNG, which preserves the transparency. And then I can load that PNG when I go back into Lightroom. So here in Lightroom, instead of using this text, I can click on Choose, and then I'll scroll down here and I'll click on 
jcphotographywatermark.png. And now you can see it's given me my watermark instead of just that text. And all of those same options are still totally applicable, so I can decide where I want to place it, how I want it to be inset, what size, and all that. So let's play with that really quickly. We'll slide that inset back down. And I usually like to have mine in the bottom center. I want it to be a little bit smaller. Yeah, something around in that. And I don't want it to be that bright. I want it to be somewhat unobtrusive. So I'm going to dial the opacity down, something like that. So it doesn't distract from the image, but it's there if you're looking for it. Here we go. Perfect location, just like that. And now if I go ahead and hit save, it gives me the option to give this a preset, which I'll call standard watermark. And then if I go ahead and click create, it loads that as an option here for my watermarking, standard watermark. So now when I export this file, it will take all the settings that I've dialed in there in the export box. And, and if you want to see a, a, a video about how you can dial in presets to make your exporting really, really quick and simple, go ahead and click on this video right here. Now that that's exported, let's go ahead and take a look at the image. So here's the image after it's been exported, and as you can see, it automatically pasted that watermark here in the bottom center of my image, just like it was previewed there in the dialog box. So let's go ahead and try that out for another image to see if our preset worked. So here we are back in Lightroom. I want to bring up some different images. Let's try a vertical one just to see. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up that export dialog box. I'm going to use the same preset as before. And I'm going to make sure that I have standard watermark selected here. And then when I click export, it'll export that file with the watermark intact exactly where I want it. Let's go find it. And here it is. So if I open it up, boom, there you can see my watermark placed in the exact same spot proportionally to the size of the image exactly in the spot that I wanted it. And what's so beautiful about this technique is it works for every image, every size, every single time. So you don't even have to think about watermarking. It happens automatically. Unless you don't want your watermark, then you just unclick this checkbox right here, this one, and you got no watermark. Otherwise, images easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hope you guys enjoyed that and found it useful and I hope you can use this as you edit and export images into the future. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe. Don't forget to join our newsletter for lots more photo tutorials and in-depth Lightroom workflow. And if you have time, check out some of our other post-processing lessons. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.